My name is Katie Clark, and this is a quick video designed to introduce bassoon students to the basics of reed making. With me is friend and colleague, Dr. Shimin Tang. We met at the University of Texas at Austin while studying under Kristen Wolf Jensen. Thanks so much for joining us, Shimin. Thank you, Katie. Hello, everybody. I'm excited to share my take on reed making. I personally love to make reeds, and I hope you enjoy this video. Remember, before you start making your reed, you must soak your GSP cane anywhere from 8 to 24 hours before you start turning it into a blank. A blank is a reed before it is clipped, and you can't play on it because no air will pass through. In order to make your blank, you need GSP cane. GSP stands for Gauss Shaped and Profiled. GSP tells you what kind of processing your cane has seen before you buy it, so just remember that you want to buy your cane GSP. Before you form your tube, you must score your cane. Scoring helps round your tube when you form it. It's important that when you score, you don't score too deeply or splitting will occur. Alternatively, you can buy your GSP cane already scored for you from bartoncane.com, which offers a goodly selection of GSP cane pre-scored. The next step is beveling. Beveling is when you either cut or file the back ends of your GSP cane so that they form a better seal on the tube you're about to make and open the front of the reed. If you're just beveling two sides, it's going to open the front of the reed less than beveling all four sides. You can use a file like this one or a razor blade. I opt for the file because you're less likely to cut yourself and a razor blade can cause jutting edges that may hamper the seal on your tube. Out of curiosity, what kind of bevel do you use, Shimin? I only bevel the right side of both ends using sandpaper. I like this bevel because it gives me the type of opening that suits my reed best. Now that we've soaked, beveled, and scored our GSP cane, let's talk about mummies and forming the tube. The mummy is the stage before your blank is a blank. Before you make your mummy, you need to make sure your cane is sufficiently pliable by using heat. Seam is a great way to prevent cracking and quickly round your tube. You want to use your pliers to help form the tube around your forming mandrel to ensure that your cane takes the correct shape. After your tube starts to look tuby, you wrap your mummy. You need to keep a certain amount of tension on the string while wrapping your mummy so that the tube forms well and holds its shape. Now you let the cane set like this for the next three days while it matures. Some people let the mummy mature for as long as two weeks. Shimin, how do you form your tube? I start with GSP can that has been scored, beveled, and soaked for only 3 hours. I put on the first wire about a half millimeter below the collar and then proceed to wrap the rest of the bark in thread. I don't actually heat the can itself, instead I heat my forming mandrel and stuff it into the tube avoiding too much twisting so that the plates don't slip later. I grip the tube with the circular part of my reed pliers on the thread, somewhere in the middle. After the reed has come down to the mark on my mandrel, I round out the tube around the mandrel with the circular part of my pliers. Then I remove the thread entirely and put on all three wires. So I don't actually use the mommy to form the tube, I rely on my wires. At this point, I let my reed set with the wires anywhere from 5 to 7 days. When your cane is dry, you may or may not opt to place fresh wires on your almost blank depending on how your old wires are holding up. Wire placement really varies on your reed style. My measurements are diagrammed in my blog, linked below. When you put your wires on, you start with a strip of 21 or 22 gauge brass wire and clip it at about 3 inches. Then you wrap it around your reed, like so, crisscrossing at the top and twisting in the direction your wires are crossed. It is recommended that you twist your wires in quarter turns or 90 degree turns. This prevents the wire from breaking, but I rarely move that slowly. I'm left-handed, so my apologies for doing this backwards for the majority of the audience. Well, thanks, Shimin. Look forward to seeing you guys again in the next installment of How to Make Your Reads. Until then, you guys have a great rest of your day, and keep making reads. <laughs>